Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Hybrid, and today we are going to go over the Kent Say in Fort Honor. This is just a little tutorial that have tips and tricks for all of you, so I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to go over is the Kent Say move set, and that will consist of a Dawn of the Steel Sun, Spirit of Inevitability, Form of the Dragon, Doom of the Kent Say, Rushing Sweep, Elm, Splitter, Swift Strike, and then finally Grasping Pounce. Alright, the first move we're going to go over is Dawn of the Steel Sun. You do this by pressing your light attack three times in a row. And this does a chain. One thing to note about this is that it can be done after a guard break or a throw, uh, which will replace uh, the first two light attacks or the first light attack. The second attack that we're going to go over is called Spirit of Inevitability. One thing to note about this is that the last attack in the chain is unblockable, meaning you will hit through any blocks. And what you're going to do for that is do a light attack, followed by a light attack, followed by a heavy attack. Again, with this move, same as the first, you can do it after a guard break or a throw, um, which will either replace the the first light or the second light. Now the last chain that Kensei has is called Doom of the Kensei and it is simply three heavy attacks in a row. Once again the last heavy attack will be unblockable and also once again it can be followed up by a guard or a throw which will replace either the first or the first and the second heavy attack. Now one of the moves that you can do uh, without being in guard mode is called the rushing sweep. How you do this is you simply start sprinting by pressing L3 and forward and then R2. Um, this is really good for clearing minions um, in 1v1s it probably is not recommended. Now the next attack is called Helm Splitter. This is an extremely quick upwards slash and the way you do this is you're going to want to uh, pressing your L forward so that you're going towards your enemy while you're locked in on them. You're going to press X to dodge towards them and then you're going to do a light attack. This does an extremely quick attack and will oftentimes catch your enemy off guard. The next attack is a dodge into a light. You do this simply by pressing left or right on the analog stick dodge and then do a light attack. One thing to note is that whichever way you dodge your light attack will come from the other side. Now this move will come in handy against those more experienced players. Uh, typically a more experienced player will dodge the way that you dodge meaning you will get the hit off. And the final attack that we're going to go over is grasping pounce. Uh, now grasping pounce you do by pressing forward on the left analog stick pressing X and then square that is basically dodging forward and then guard breaking um, for those of you who don't play with a PS4 controller. This attack is really useful um, especially when people are blocking a lot of your attacks or they're good at blocking or good at bearing because you can also follow this up with a chain um, which will allow you to get an unblockable off just as they get out of the guard break. Alright and now for some tips and tricks with Kensai. One, be sure to parry a lot because when you parry you actually stun your enemy. You parry by blocking and then heavy attacking in the same direction that your enemy is attacking you at and you have to time it properly in order to parry. Also another tip that I have for Kensai is make sure that you are being the aggressor. Uh, typically when you're countering with him it does not go too well so try to be the aggressor uh other than that guys can say it's a lot of fun it plays a lot like dark souls so if you're coming from a dark souls background be sure to try them out other than that guys i'm gonna go ahead and say peace be sure to check out my other videos bye